Right. For me, market segmentation is one of those ones where people go into the exam and they forget what it is because they think they know everything on marketing and then they look back and think, what the hell does segmentation mean? So, um, all you've got to do is to start off with the definition. It's dividing the market into different groups of people. So you say, there's one group, here's another group, here's another one. Once you've got into like different groups, you can then work out that they, these groups have to have different needs. There's no point in having two different groups with the same needs. You might as well just put them into one group. So they've got to have different needs. And then finally, to provide a tailored product. So the idea is you're going to try and get a product that would suit that group of people and then another product that would suit another group of people. Because the problem is, if you tried to make a product that suited like each individual person completely, you'd have to have like a million products and that would be impossible to do. So you're trying to put them into groups to keep them as happy as possible. So these are the four ways of segmenting the market, um, of, of putting people into groups. Um, in the exam, just stick to these four. Don't try and be clever. Don't come up with something different. These are the four that always come within the mark scheme. Um, right, I'll start off the first one, age. Now this thing that's coming up now, I would probably rather kill myself than go on one of these holidays. This is Club 1830 and they're designed for holidays for young people to go on. So if you've ever watched like Ibiza Uncovered, this is what Club 1830 is all about. So they're not in any way trying to make me want to go on this holiday. There'll be no, like, you know, during, when I'm reading my triathlon magazine or something like that, there'll be no adverts for Club 1830. They'll be properly trying to target at probably you in two years' time. Now, the next one is income. So, Mr Robinson now, you know, I like to live the dream. Every so often, I'll be there buying the extra special profiterol gatto from Asda, yeah? Now, they're trying to target at people who, who want to try and have that kind of posher food. Now, back when I was a student... I was there, I was having Tesco Value Beans. That's what I was, that's what I was doing. They were horrible. Right, the next one is um, gender. Now, I've told this story before, I'll tell it again. I have no shame in buying Venus razors. Um, I, I really wouldn't care less. Like, Venus razors are meant to be exactly the same as Mac 3, but the only difference is the Venus one looks a bit more girly, and the Mac 3 one looks, like, manly and powerful. Now, I don't think it matters, really. That whichever one's on offer, I'll buy it. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to say, buy this product... And we're going to aim it particularly at girls or particularly at lads. So the lads one, the Mac 3, will try and look really, you know, really cool and manly, like, like we call it like Mac 3 power. So it's hopefully trying to make men want to buy it. Now the last one is the one that, to be honest, out of the four, it's the one I'd use least, is geographical area. And this one is just saying that in certain areas, um, shops will have to target their product at different people. So if you went to Liverpool... Um, you went to Sports Direct in Liverpool, there'd be all Liverpool shirts. There'd probably be no Man United shirts. Or, for example, when I used to live in London, all the shirts were obviously of, like, Tottenham, of, like, <clears throat> Arsenal. And then I came to Wales. They didn't even have football shirts anymore as much. They just had loads of rugby stuff. So you have to try and change your product for the, for the area that you're trying to sell in. Right, just as a finale, all they're going to ask you to do with segmentation is, first of all, define it. So as long as you know how to define it, you're happy. A new pen, so this is quite posh. That's quite good. Okay, so first thing is you've got to define it. So you've got to say market segmentation is when you divide the market into different groups, and these groups have got different needs to provide a tailored product. If you do that, you've got the definition perfect. Then they might say explain two types of market segmentation. Just pick two of those four and really explain it. Okay, that's it.